So one night, my wife comes to me and sort of wants to talk to me about an email. And the email in question is what I think is spam, but she's unsure and would like reassurance, which is completely understandable. So what she received was an email that had her password as the subject, which you can imagine would freak anyone out. So to prove that this was just a sort of a phishing attempt, um, I went into my own email and I found three examples of the same email or a similar email, one that was exactly the same. And I'll read it to you. Your password is good for. Before you worry about me revealing my password, I have never used that as a password. Nothing so simplistic. I know a lot more about you than that. How? I placed a malware on a porn website and guess what? You visited this website to have fun. You know what I mean. While you were watching the video, your web browser acted as an RDP, remote desktop, and a keylogger, which provided me access to your screen and webcam. Right after that, my software gathered all your contacts from Messenger, Facebook, and email account. Um, well, Messenger, I've never used Messenger. Or, no, no, I think I did 10 years ago. It hasn't been installed on on recent computers. In fact, my main computer has never had it installed because it's too new. What exactly did I do? I made a split screen video. The first part recorded the video reviewing. You've got exceptional taste. <laughs> the next part recorded your webcam. Yep, it's you doing the nasty things. Well, okay. He's created a split screen video just like I've done. And there's no way he's got that because I haven't done that. <laughs> what should you do? Well, I believe $2,000 is a fair price for our little secret. Mm, I don't think I'd pay $2. In fact, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> You'll make the payment of our Bitcoin to the address below. And he helpfully gives us uh, his Bitcoin address. Important. You have 24 hours to make the payment. I have a unique pixel within this message. And right now I know you're reading this email. If I don't get the payment, I will send your video to all your contacts, including relatives, co-workers, and so forth. If I do get paid, I will erase the video immediately. If you want evidence, reply with yes, and I will send you the video recording to your five friends. This is non-negotiable offer, so don't waste my time by replying to this email. Well, I think the reason why he doesn't want you replying to this email is because he's hacked, well, hacked is a strong word. He's probably spoofing somebody else's email account so that any reply would go to them. Another email I got was, I'm aware good for is your password. I don't know where they got good for from. I need your complete attention for the coming 24 hours or I'll make sure that you live out of embarrassment for the rest of your existence. Hello there. You do not know me personally. However, I know everything regarding you. Your Facebook contact list, your smartphone contact, contacts, along with all the digital activity your computer from the, from the previous 135 days. That's oddly specific. Which includes your self-pleasuring video clips, which brings me to the main motive. Why am I composing this specific mail to you? Well, the last time you went to a porn material website, my spyware was triggered. Inside your computer system, which ended up documenting a lovely video of your masturbation play simply by activating your webcam. Well, <laughs> interesting. I've, I certainly haven't been to any porn in the last, porn website in the last 135 days. They're just adding in this information like you've got tremendously weird taste just to try and get you to, if you have looked at something a bit weird, then they're going to want to make you uh, take action. 
I've got the full recording in case you think I'm messing around. Simply reply pr proof and I will forward the particular recording randomly to three people you know. Ooh. It might be your friends, co-workers, boss, parents. I don't know. My software will randomly pick the contact details. Will you be capable to gaze into anyone's eyes again after it? I question that. Nonetheless, it does not have to be that route. I'm going to make your one-time offer non-negotiable. Buy $2,000 in Bitcoin and send them on the down below address. If you do not know how to look online, how to buy Bitcoin, do not waste my valuable time. They must be sending like hundreds of thousands of these messages a day. And yeah, if you, everyone replied to them, even if it was a valid address, they would be inundated. They, they would never be able to uh, respond. If you send this donation, let's call it that. <laughs> no. Immediately after that, I will go away and never get in touch with you again. I will get rid of everything I've got concerning you. You may very well continue living normal day-to-day -day lifestyle with absolutely no fear. Well, the reason all that's true is because it's true regardless. They don't have the data. They're not going to contact you again. They've no way of knowing whether it's you paying or not. I mean, maybe the Bitcoin address is unique to you, but they're, they're basically doing a... They're doing a mail shot to hundreds of thousands of people. They're just hoping that you're going to respond to it. If you don't respond to it, nothing's going to happen. You've got one day in order to do so. Your time starts as quickly as you read this mail. I've got a unique program code that will alert me as soon as you see this email, so do not try to play smart. Well, what they're talking about is a tracking code that email companies have had for years and years, but also web programs or email clients have got smarter and smarter. So if this is in your spam, your email client's not going to be loading the images for you. So their code's not going to be working. So you're safe. Unless you've loaded images. But the reason why this is in my spam folder is because, in my case, Google know. They know this is a... This is spam. This is somebody trying to extract money from me. And... Seriously, do not worry. What's going on? There's lots and lots of hacks based hacks to companies and they are losing your personal details left, right and centre. So there doesn't seem to be a week that goes by that there hasn't been a breach. And I know that these emails are coming from a breach that Adobe had many years ago. But that breach didn't include the password, which is why their password is made up. Whereas my wife's breach would have been with a company that did store the password as either plain text or a, a hashing algorithm that's easily reversed. So if you're worried about any of this, I would check out a website called Have I Been Pwned? All you need to do is enter your email address and it will tell you whether or not the, your email address has appeared on any of these leaks from companies so I've put in the the email address that I've been emailed at and I can see yes I've been pwned I can see here in 2013 that Adobe had released my details unknowingly to the internet and it included my email address password hint username and potentially password the password would be depending on how easy it was to reverse if you used a dictionary word, then that's it, game over. They know what your password was. If it was a little bit more secure than that, then you would be all right, at least 
as long as it's not a common one. And if we scroll further down to the bottom, you can see what the latest breaches are. We are talking a staggering number of account details. I honestly would not give these the time of day. Do not worry about them. Just be aware that your personal details are out there and that spammers are going to be using this to try and get you to give them money. And I must admit, they're getting better. But you need to be vigilant. They're not going to have a video of you. They're not targeting you. If they were targeting you, they would include a lot more information showing what they had. They might include a sample to a video. They might include a picture of you. But at the moment, all this data can be got from these leaks. And Have I Been Pwned will tell you how. So stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.